Are you sick and tired of paying monthly for absolutely everything? I know I am. And when it comes to SEO and other marketing tools, you end up paying hundreds of dollars a month. What's the deal with that? And what if I told you there is a way that you can leverage AI to use any and all of these SEO tools for free? That's right, for free. In this video, I'm going to show you how to gain access to SEMrush data for free. Let's jump in. All right, folks, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. This is the prompt that I have set up. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing earth shattering. Nice and simple, but it gets the job done. It's good to start. Good way to start the keyword research process. So what I have here using the data from SEMrush, Ahrefs and Surfer SEO. You can do these individually if you'd like. I need you to develop a SEO keyword content strategy for the keyword insert here. This is where you insert the keyword that you want to target. I'll, if there's enough people that watch this, I'll put this in the description. Uh, I'm working on, what am I working on? I think leisure clothing. It's one of my tasks right now. And I need you to find keywords that have a volume of at least at least 50 per month with a fairly, fairly easy, God, can't read today, fairly easy SEO score. And you'll know if you've played around with any of these tools, you know there's a lot more information than just the volume and the difficulty. So you can actually edit this as you go. You can add whatever you'd like to it. So I wanted to do at least 50 visits per month, fairly easy SEO score. Most sites rated from zero to 100, others like Surfer, uh, they use a scale of one to 10, it's a little bit different. Um, if you've seen it, you know, uh, but this will help you get along in your response. Please make sure to list the keywords into a table with four columns. So I'm giving it a structure that I would like for this to be displayed in. Uh, the columns should be as follows. So column one will have the keyword. Column two will have the volume. Column three, the keyword difficulty and column four, the search intent. So those are the four things that I would like to see. Uh, you can add whatever columns you want, so you can kind of take this and play around with it. It's very simple. I'm sure it's probably out there somewhere, uh, but I don't know. I haven't really been able to find it. So if we copy this, uh, let's just give this a refresh, shall we? Uh, start a new chat. Uh, let's try Let's try with 3.5 first, ChatGPT 3.5, and see what it comes up with. It's going to be very fast, and there you go. Um, it's going to give me a nice list, a nice breakdown. You can then ask it to, uh, you can then ask it to sort the column, sort this entire table by a certain column. If you want to see the keyword difficulty lowest first, uh, you can just very kindly ask ChatGPT to do that for you. If you want, you know, um, give me 10 more, but only ones only keywords with commercial search intent do something like that and it's just going to give me the commercial <clears throat> if you know that's kind of what you're going for a uh, really nice way i mean to kind of start your journey then you can kind of plug this in into uh, google keyword planner just to actually cross confer or what do you call it cross reference that's what i like to do let's chat try with uh chat gpt4 I don't know if it's gonna give me <clears throat> it's gonna go a little bit slower so i'll fast forward through this so here we go uh it's almost done just to see i opened the tab of the prior prompt let's see if it gave me some something similar in the first one what we got at leisure wear <clears throat> see a little bit different with uh chat gbd4 probably just gives me a little bit of a better i don't know but that's for you guys to decide anyway this is it uh, the only drawback here is obviously that it's only taken the data up to 2001, which is okay, uh, because if you do search these in SEMrush and others, uh, it's actually fairly close. You're, it's not the best for kind of trending searches, like the way that Google Google's proprietary keyword planner is. Uh, but it's it kind of gives you a great starting point for you know SEO in your articles. I'm working on a way to get the date up to. 2023 haven't been able to do that yet i'm sure i will and once i do i will make another video thanks for watching